Hey guys, I'm Sam from Sam's Geek Vault and welcome to the first video on this channel. Today we are going to take a look at the Redgrass Games Everlasting Wet Palette. If you are new to this hobby and don't know what a wet palette is or what it is for, I find out an old video that will sum it up. Son, are you tired of your paints drying on the palette? You wish to be able to use the same paint for longer sessions? We got the thing for you! Introducing the wet palette from Sponge and Sponges Brothers. It's really easy, even you can do it. You just need a container, a sponge and some baking paper. Add water and you are good to paint your minis. It's just that easy. Jokes aside, the wet palette is just a tool that makes your paint moist for longer. I'll leave a link on the description of the tutorial on how to use one. So, let's open this box and see what's inside. So, it is the Everlasting Wet Palette Painter complete pack from Redgrass Games. Um, I had a minor issue, I must um, admit, that I recorded the whole unboxing and then found out I didn't press record on the main camera. Yay, so of course some parts will be already open, but I'll put it back on so you can see more so how it comes, comes inside. Uh, first of all, you have this picture of the product. Uh, you have some instructions on the back on the, the usage and uh, where everything is or is supposed to do. You have some quick setup on the side, as well as at the contents on the other side, and some care instructions on top. When you open it, it comes in uh, a plastic wrapper. Which we're gonna toss aside. 50 sheets of hydration paper. It uh, is for acrylic paint only. Works best with red, red grass games everlasting wet palette. I didn't check if you can order, but of course. I bet you probably can order more if you need them, but 50 sheets for the, the base set, it's already a great amount of sheets, I guess. We have the Everlasting Wet Palette Hydration Foam Pad. And if you can see, they have the Red Grass lo logo on them. It comes with two hydration foam. They come with this, that this is um, what they describe as, and I'm going to check, uh, wavy well palette, uh, well brush holder. So this is just an accessory to put your washes, I guess, or some paints you want them to, to be thicker, and uh, it doubles up as a brush holder. That's nice. The main wet palette itself, I'm really impressed by, by this. The, the main product, of course, it, uh, the packaging is great and uh, everything is labeled and that's a thing that I like when I buy something I'm gonna try to use. Um, this really holds up to everything I, I saw online. First of all, it has a texture inside, so I believe if uh, when I put uh, my hydration paper in when it's wet, it won't slip that much. It has a rubber band around the top lid and this rubber band will probably uh, avoid some spillage when I'm carrying it around, which I'm hyped to do so. And also it has these uh, metal magnetic things on three or the, of the four sides of it. So you can just fit the holder, well thingy, curvy stuff anyway you it's more practical to you so as I told you I already opened this so this is uh, my second unboxing back to back so I already cu cut this open but uh, to show you guys the version foam leaves just a little room so every the max capacity uh, of the, um, the inside of the wet palette it's it's being used and that's that's nice. 
And to show you, let's just take one of the paper sheets that come with it. And as you can see, it really holds up with the space. So the max, the maximum space you will be, you will be able to use, it's still a lot. So it has like one centimeter around, maybe. But it, I, I think. I, well, I'm really happy with the um, the area they provide. So that's nice. On another thing that comes with it, it's this elastic band to further hold. I believe it's really nice and uh, I, I think, I'm not gonna bet my money on it, but I think the, um, the rubber band on the top lid, it will probably hold most of the liquid inside, but uh, adding this further level of security it's much appreciated well from the product itself alone without testing it and of course I'm gonna testing it in this video uh, but uh, I already give I already think it's worth the cost which is really cheap well for the product itself I, I, of course if the, pro the product wasn't this good I guess I can call it good because I'm I'm happy with it without testing it. Well, well that's it for now. Let's test it up, shall we? I've been using the palette for a few days now. The addition foam was really an upgrade for me. I was using an improvised wet palette with a sponge and I really felt a difference. The addition foam kept my paints perfect and it dried less than the sponge I was using. Having a lid also prevents the paints and foam to dry. Speaking of lid, the rubber band really works great as a seal and prevents it from spilling. While I was testing the pellet, I didn't have the need to take it anywhere, but I will not worry when I put it in my bag. The Wavy Well palette is nice and since it doubles up as a brush holder, it becomes useful. It is also easy to wash and being held with magnets makes it practical. Since it is removable, it will be nice to have some sort of package to carry all my things together. You can use the elastic band, but I don't want to stretch mine that way. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, why not subscribe to my channel for future unboxing and reviews of more hobby products. What was your favorite feature of this palette? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the description for some useful links. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye!